Ladies and gentlemen, as the king of ping, I feel I'm uniquely qualified to say this is absolutely the trickiest steel frame CR500 ever to roll out of the Kaplan Cycle shop here. This thing is absolutely bristling with trickery and unobtainium from top to bottom. It's like a who's who of the motocross industry that built this bike and all the components and not an expense was spared on it. Anywhere, it's all brand new, complete frame up build. Brand new white powder coating on a pristine original CR frame. Absolutely stunning. I have the title in hand. It's a titled frame. Um, let me start with the engine because that's really the magic on this thing. This thing is absolutely insane. It's brand new. It was assembled and all the paperwork that comes with it uh, is from Tom Morgan. Tom Morgan is a famous engine builder and he used all the best components money can buy. It has an aluminum engine cases, the TSR engine cases are custom built to house the KTM style hydraulic clutch. It's got a Henson clutch basket, brand new Honda cylinder, brand new VHM head, brand new Wozner rod, uh, has a smart carb on it with the factory um, uh, style. Bormi, this is like a handmade in uh, Italy, Bormi full aluminum subframe and airbox. That, that is absolutely a work of art. It's the nicest subframe I've ever seen on a CR. It has the aluminum matching tank, <clears throat> the aluminum oversized radiators. Back to the engine. The engine was ported by Tom Morgan. He's been porting two-stroke 500s for 40 plus years. It, it, it is an absolute freaking rocket ship. The smart carb is carbureted beautifully. It just, in any RPM as evidenced by my test ride, it'll just wheelie and revs to the moon. Brand new shifter. Everything's brand new on the bike. Brand new billet clutch. Um, the exhaust, take a look at the exhaust system on this thing. This is the same exact setup. It's a very similar engine build to what I did on Junior's race bike. Everything's built on the bottom end and it's got a Higgy pipe. We paid $1,300 for our, for our pipe. That's, I think they've gone up a little bit since then uh, with, with a silencer. Everything's brand new. It's got about 35, 30 minutes ride time on it, mostly around the parking lot here. Polished factory aluminum Honda um, engine cover, all billet water pump, everything's brand new on the engine, built by Tom Morgan. To duplicate this engine would cost you about eight grand. It's a, it's a top shelf build. The suspension is nothing but the best. 2022 CRF, brand new from Olin's, Olin's uh, performance suspension with the gold DLC coating, Emig triple clamps, same exact setup I put on Junior's bike. This is really, it really is the best of everything. Every bearing, every seal, every bushing, on this bike is brand new. All the hardware is brand new. The suspension's brand new. It has a matching 2022 Olin's PFP shock. Um, the wheel set is a Takasaga XL rims. The bike's an absolute rocket ship and it has the best suspension and brakes money can buy. These are the same brakes you'll find on the 2023 Hondas uh, CRFs. It's the top of the line Nissan, or excuse me, Nissan NISSIN caliper with the oversized rotor. The um, rotor protector, brand new fork protectors, brand new front fender, everything's brand new. Front number plate, uh, it's got the um, hand protectors going up to the bars, it's got pro taper, gold pro taper bars, has the ODI grips, full pro taper, XPS adjustable clutch lever with a hydraulic master cylinder for the hydraulic clutch, hydraulic Nissan uh, master cylinder for the, for the front brake, uh, it's got Galfer. Uh, braided stainless lines on it. Braided, it has a pro taper adjustable, unbreakable brake lever along with the hand protector on this side and a brand new throttle. Again, a handmade aluminum tank, brand new saddle and seat cover, brand new radiator shrouds, brand new oversized radiators, the best of everything. This is no expense spared, no excuses built. 
All the bearings in the swing arm are brand new. All the bearings in the in the uh, linkage is brand new. The rear brakes are brand new. The rear wheel, as you can see, is a brand new Takasago XL rim. Still has a sticker on it. Like I said, less than 30 minutes ride time. Brand new uh, spokes. Brand new faster USA billet hubs on the front and rear. Come around this side of the sprocket. It looks like a like a um, um, looks the, the, the looks looks like a titanium sprocket. Look at how lightweight that thing looks. Freaking in the colors on it. It's just beautiful. Gold chain has a primary drive. Brand new uh, chain guide. Brand new inspection covers. Brand new rollers. Brand new chain slider. Everything's brand new on this bike. The only original item on this bike, really, from from Honda, from the factory originally, is the frame. Every other item on this has been upgraded to. This would be like if Honda was still making Works CR500s. That's what this bike would be. And this is far superior to any Works Honda ever made. Um, they didn't have the technology back then, this type of, they didn't have the braking technology, they didn't have the suspension technology. It's, it's light years better today than it was when they stopped making these in 2001. Look at the pegs on these, fast way, a little bit lower in stock, wider, just just absolutely beautiful fast way, billet pegs, all new mounting hardware. Really cool um, frame protector on here. It's a plast, uh, PVC, brand new uh, frame protector to protect the mint steel frame. Uh, MSV exhaust port. There'll be a full write-up on the bike. There's pages and pages of uh, documentation on this directly from Tom Morgan on the engine. The suspension's brand new. Everything's brand new. To build this bike today, if you dropped off your CR and said, hey, I wanted to build this bike, you'd be looking at eight grand on the engine, about 6,000 on the suspension, 1,500 on the wheels and tires added up. You easily the tank, the subframe, you'd easily drop eighteen to twenty thousand dollars plus your bike to build this bike. So this cannot be replaced um, without spending a small fortune and or spending six months of your time, nights and weekends building it yourself. If we built this bike for for you, this this to mat to duplicate this bike, you'd be looking at somewhere between seventy and eighty five hours of shop labor on top of what what Tom Morgan had contributed on the engine here. And that was a complete, this engine was built entirely by Tom using all the components that he specs. So world-class piece, the graphics on it are, are off the hook. It's got this gold in black, like metallic gold 500R graphics. It's just an absolutely world-class 500. The nicest, more, <laughs> the most expensive, nicest steel frame we've ever had in the shop. And that's saying a lot for us. Guys, it doesn't get any better in this. It gets different than this, but it doesn't get any better. The Olin suspension, the Tom Morgan aluminum block engine, it's got the best of everything. There's really nothing on this bike that you could upgrade. You could change it. You could change the color maybe to red or, or something like that. That's easy to do. If you buy the bike and you want to put, change the, the plastics or graphics, uh, we, we can do that for you here in house. Uh, the sky's the limit. We can do just about anything to a bike like this. We're CR500 specialists, and this is the nicest steel frame I've ever swung a leg over. I can't think of any that exceeds this as far as the uh, the, the the fit and finish and the, the the componentry used, and just the general uh, overall scheme. The, the the gold rims and the, the polished aluminum engine, the the Higgy pipe um, on the dyno. This Higgy pipe put down one horse more than the FMF Fatty, which is was my favorite pipe up until we use the Higgy. The problem is the FMF pipe's $300. This one's $1,300, it's $1,000 more. So, but we put it on Junior's race bike because we were put, when you're building a bike to, to win races, it's always that that little extra bit that, that that takes it over the top. All the hardware on, every bit of hardware on the bike is brand new. Everything's brand new. Like I said, the only original item is the mint original frame that was completely um, taken down to bare metal and then powder coated. So good luck finding a nicer one. I don't know of a nicer one anywhere United States of America for sale today or anywhere in the world. This is it. If you're interested, give us a call, 860-454-7024. There are other bikes out there built to this level, but I don't know, I don't know of any other for sale today this nice. Uh, certainly not in our inventory. Um, Junior's race bike, which would have, you'd have to do a frame off on it to make it this nice because he raced it, would take a while. But uh, his is on this level, but no expense spared. God bless America. Bid high, bid often.